Hey guys, what's up? This is John from the Reaper blog. And last night on Twitter, I asked you guys to vote on the next tutorial. Sound design trick, a complete Reaper settings backup, or a dialogue editing trick. And you guys chose sound design trick. So today I'm going to show you something that I came up with with Gordon McLattery. He's a Vancouver sound designer and uh, he was over in my studio and we came up with a custom action to make whooshes. Uh, Gordon also hosts the Beards, Cats, and Indie Game Audio podcast, and I highly recommend that if you're into sound design and video games. All right, so let's get into this tutorial. I've got a couple sound sources here. This is just white noise printed from the JS white noise plugin. And this is single note on a synth, the OBXD synth. What's a whoosh? A whoosh is a sound that sweeps in and then decays out. So you'll see that in title sequences of action trailers and stuff like that. So let's start with a really basic one with the white noise. So I'm just gonna grab a section here and drag it over. So, just need a little short thing. Okay, and then uh, we need to give this a tail. And there's a couple ways to do that. You could fade this out and then render it. So let's show you that, because it's not really intuitive. So um, on my keyboard, I'm pressing the O key to make to set my time selection to the item. I'm going to extend this time selection a little bit longer. Right click and glue items within time selection. Of course, if you're not seeing these actions, uh, check your action list. So uh, find shortcut O, that's time selection, set time selection to items. Okay, all right, so I've got this sound here. Right, nothing special. So let's add some effects. Let's add in, let's add a reverb. Um, battle room. Let's grab a random preset. All right, so we need this. We need this item to be a bit longer. So if I drag this out, it's going to start looping, and we don't want that. So I've got a button here on the toolbar uh, loop item. It's the same as going to item properties and uh, turning off loop source. So if I undo that, you can see that that was on. Okay. And now you can extend an item past its boundary and then your effects won't be cut off. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Let's choose, let's just put on a flanger. Sure, why not? So then to make this a whoosh, we need to make a copy of it. I'm just gonna hit the command key and drag over a, a duplicate of it. I'm gonna take this first one, item settings and reverse active take. Unfortunately, reversing the active take only reversed that front part of the item. It didn't snap it over here. Um, not really a problem because we can option drag it over and now we've got a reversed sound going into the forward sound. And we'll just nudge this over a little bit and create a crossfade. So let's see what we have. So I'm going to show you the custom action that we came up with that speeds things up a little bit. Let's do it with this other sound clip. Let's take a little section of this, bring it over. What do we have? Let's add a tail to this with a uh, vintage verb. And I don't know, I'll just grab something completely random. Pad hall. That's really long. You notice that the sound cuts off because the item is so short. If you go into your preferences, there's this 2000 millisecond effects tail. So that's why it's cutting off. So we need to trick that into lasting for longer. So we actually don't even need this much. I'm going to hit the loop section 
button on my toolbar. That's the SWS loop section. Um, it's different than this loop section of item source. So uh, I'm going to drag it. And it's just going to repeat that section instead of taking stuff further on in the, in the original file. But then if I turn off looping item source, it gives me silence. And it just extends the item. Same thing as before, but uh, kind of a different way of doing it. And now we can extend this out to the entire length of our tail. All right, we really don't need it that long, but that's fine. Uh, so we've got some reverb. Let's add some saturation. Let's grab the, the free saturation knob plugin. Sure. And let's put redelay on there. So let's do one eighth note and lots of feedback. All right, so these effects are actually on the item, not on the track. Let's try this with the reverb at the end. All right, that sounds cooler. Let's take this and glue it, just a regular glue command. We're going to uh, strip away some of this beginning part. And we're going to use my custom action, which reversed the front half and tossed that over and nudged it over a little bit. And let's add in a little fade here on the intro and fade in on the outro. And here's what we have. Kind of weird, not great, but a little bit quicker. Let me show you what that custom action does. So item properties, toggle take reverse then it duplicates the item, which just copies that item, puts it directly after it. Uh, then we are reversing the second half, because when you duplicate, you're, you have the second part selected. And then um, it's going to nudge the items left by the saved nudge dialog settings. And uh, in that case, it is 40 milliseconds. Find the nudge set dialog. Left trim 40, then just save it. All right, so let's do that a little bit faster. Let's take, let's take our white noise, paste it here. Let's take, um, let's loop the section, extend it out turn off that. Let's try the replica plugin. And then another one with the diffusion setting. All right, that's pretty cool. I'm going to glue that and then I'm going to strip off this first part and then hit my key to make that a whoosh and let's see what we got. And we just need to adjust this crossfade a little bit. There's a lot of cool things you can do with this. It saves a little bit of time, 
And it's really up to you to get different results with different sound sources, different effects, and uh, just kind of the tedious part of reversing, duplicating, crossfade, and all that is kind of simplified a little bit. Anyways, I hope you liked this tutorial. Hope you found it useful. Check out reaperblog.net for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.